Some of the other mistakes that people make when they're trying to find someone to spend their life with is that they believe that they're not good enough. They maybe they feel that they're not attractive enough. They don't have enough intelligence or they're not the right look or whatever it is. They've, they've got something about themselves that holds them back. And so they make decisions based on that. They say, well, I couldn't get the person of my dreams, so I'll settle for um, what I can get and put up with negative behavior, negative experiences, and think that if they say no to somebody, that they're cutting off the possibility of them experiencing a loving relationship. And the opposite of that is true. When you say no to the wrong person, you open the space to say yes to the right person. But a lot of people say yes to the wrong person and don't experience what may have come later, what may have come next. So rushing into a relationship is an, a big mistake a lot of people make. And not pausing to see if it's a right fit. Those chemicals are really, they play tricks on your brain, they play tricks on your intelligence. And when you allow that to um, guide you, that's where a lot of mistakes can be made. At the beginning, when you're getting to know someone and the chemicals are surging around your body, you're feeling good with each other, you're having a good time, you're laughing, you feel like the bond is being created and it feels just so wonderful. You don't think about anything else, probably don't even eat for a bit because it's just all consuming. That's a period of infatuation where you're being, um, you're falling into that belief that you're in love and, and it's diff difficult to, to gauge whether you're in love or if you're infatuated. And the way to, to really test that is to wait. And that's a, that's a key factor in all of this is the infatuation period can last for sometimes even a year where the, the, it's like you've got the rose tinted glasses on and everything looks wonderful and, and all is well. But once the, the glasses come off and you start to see the little things that might irk you that start to emerge after the period of infatuation starts to fade, you then start to question if you're actually with the right person. And maybe by that point, you've already committed yourself. You've maybe already moved in together. And, and then you have to do some repair or make a decision as to whether you want to stay with this person, whether you want to kind of suck it up and keep going and, and make good of what you've created or end the relationship. And there's always this element of, of uncertainty and doubt that creeps in. Am I with the right person? Did I make the right choice? What else is out there for me?